right now. In the still of the night, I hear the wolf howl, honey, sniffing around your door. And still the night, I feel my heart feeling heavy, telling me you gotta have more. Breath. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? James here, redemptionagency.com. And that don't mean I'm readopting my puppies. No, no, no. I would never do that. I am readopting stuff. Stuff. The cornerstone of the culture of human beings. Stuff. <laughs> Humans love stuff. I mean, who doesn't like to have a collection of stuff? Stuff. Right, Cuddles? You know what I'm talking about. All right, I went ahead and did some pooling. So I can get that done quick so we can get things going because I'm probably going to run over to the honey hole and have a hopefully a better uh, thrifting in the post than, than last video. But if you're seeing this video, the thrifting in a posh video is already out because I'm running a day behind. But anyway, enough of that. But <laughs> kick the kick the morning off with a little white snake in the still of the night. All right, we're going to get into this, see what's sold. Uh, kind of slow overnight, but then this morning it really started picking up. So that's a good thing. Good thing. So I don't know how much quality, quality we're going to have here. Kind of like yesterday evening, we had a lot, a lot, a lot, like 99% common foundation stuff. And it looks like here, we shall see, there might be one or higher-ish dollar item. But let's get into it so I can get this done and get a crack of lacking out into the real world today. Let's go. So we're going to have to start off the little white snake too. Sold for four fifty, dollars headed to Louisville, Kentucky. Are you ready for a DVD lot? Yeah. Nickelodeon Victory S. Alrighty. Oh yeah, season one. And season, second season, season two. Two DVDs sold for $14 going to Patterson, New Jersey. Gotta ask you again. Are you ready for a cassette line? Yeah. Two cassettes, singles, taking advantage of my clearance sale. Buy two items or more, get 50% off. Two cassette singles sold for $5, headed to Plano, Texas. Next verse, same as the first. Are you ready for a cassette line? Yeah. Take advantage of my clearance items. Buy two or more, get 50% off. We got two Paul Kelly cassettes going out for $5, headed to San Francisco. The San Francisco treat. I wonder if there's been a shirt done like that. I don't think I could sell it legally, but I'm going to have a shirt that says the San Francisco treat with an arrow pointing down and sell it to everybody in San Francisco. Cha-ching, money. Oh. <laughs> Might have a little uh, a lawsuit coming after me after a while. Why is there a hair stuck in there? Oh, it's on there. Look at that. Somebody emailed me this morning real mad saying there was a cat hair underneath the tray of the CD. I'm like, I gotta get that off. I don't I don't open CDs and look under the tray. Never. And that was a first. I'm like, okay, you're really upset about that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I don't know what else more I can say. If you want to return it over a cat hair, I mean, please do. <laughs> I'm, I can't do nothing more than that. Uh, the Honeymooners DVD with the awesome Cedric the Entertainer from St. Louis, along with Mike Epps. He went to uh, my high school for a little bit. And uh, when we used to go out to a club in South County uh, called, oh, damn, what was it called? I don't remember. We used to go in a little club to see rock bands play. Right next door was the Funny Bone. And I remember a couple of times he was hanging out out front because he had sets at the Funny Bone. So there's a little story for you. All right. And uh, this because uh, a friend of mine that uh, went to the club with one time uh, knew him more on a personal basis than I did because he had a class with him. So we were sitting there talking to him for a while before he was Mr. Hollywood. So for five bucks, headed to Detroit, Michigan. All right, gear daddies, let's go scare owl. 
on DVD or CD. So for five bucks, headed to St. Paul, Minnesota. Headed to Newcastle, Delaware for nine dollars. We got Jessica Simpson single, take my breath away, sealed. I watch uh, Robert Irvine, uh, Restaurant Impossible. And when you watch that show, you realize how difficult the restaurant business is, especially compared to something like selling a hat on eBay, right? To, in order, just think if you sell a plate for, you know, 14 bucks and, you know, you're, you get like a $10 or, you know, a $10 food cost or uh, profit on your food on the one plate at the end of the, after all that work you put in, cooking that, prepping that meal, cooking it, serving it, all that time and energy that went into that one plate of food for $10. Compare that to the amount of time I can put up a hat and the time it takes to uh, find it, take pictures, file it, pull it, and ship it night and day all that with a hat can probably be it can be done in under five minutes right where a plate of food can take like 10 minutes so just think of the time difference when you're doing something like this compared you see so many people who say they can only put up 10 or 20 a day imagine if you own a restaurant you could only put out 10 or 20 plates of food a day you'd make no money so can and then the time it takes is almost probably double the time to make that money in the restaurant. So kind of a open mind, you know, open your mind up to a little bit more of things around you and maybe uh, what effort it goes into getting that plate of food when you're out eating and also putting yourself in check when you say, I can only get up 10 items a day. Uh, play with things a little bit in your head and rearrange it and work it out better so that you have a better uh, grasp on what you're doing and be really thankful that you're not making that plate of food and it's a lot easier. Let's just say that. All right, next up. God, I was all over the place there, wasn't I? All right, Pure Mood CD sold for five bucks headed to Los Angeles, California. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. All right, Regina Carter, CD promo single sold for $14 headed to Williamsburg, Virginia. All right, the Cathedral's Jump Little Children promo CD single sold for $10, headed to Carrollton, Georgia. Hank Moberly dipping on the Blue Note label. Sold for 10 bucks, headed to Fort Worth, Texas. You know what I haven't had in a while? Dippin' Dots. I need me some Dippin' Dots. Where can I get them nowadays? Good Lord, I don't even know. Pandemic could have put them people out of business. It's not like they had a lot of freaking business before because they were little kiosks here and there. Anyway, let's get it going. All right now, Nico Case, Fox Confessor Brings the Flood. Clarence City, $5, headed to Michigan City, Indiana. All righty, Nessov, Ake CD, headed to Japan, sold for $5. All right, I just put this up yesterday, last night. Uh, sold 15 bucks, staying here in St. Louis. Liberace cassette sold for four fifty. Headed to Portland, Oregon. Alrighty, we got this Sh Shikana shirt. Got the Day of the Dead makeup on and what have you. Alright, going to Des Moines, Iowa. Sold for seven dollars. Alright, authentic St. Louis T-shirt. Been in the store for over two years. Sold for five fifty. Headed to Connecticut. All right, we got the San Diego Chargers jersey. Sold for $21, headed up to Canada. All right, headed to Illinois. Uh, this thing's been in the store over two years. Sold for five bucks. It's clean too. I can't believe that sat for so long. I've been selling a lot of stuff that's been sitting in the store for over two years this past week. Another one here, over two years, been sitting $7, going to El Dorado, Illinois. Another one. <laughs> Been in the store over two years. I can tell because of the background of my picture has some checkers, black and white checkered on it. Uh, sold for nine fifty. Headed to San Antonio, Texas. All right, Snap On Tools hat. Sold for eight bucks. Headed to Columbus, Ohio. All right, World Series of Poker hat. Sold for six bucks. Headed up to New York. All right, Real Tree. 
women's hunting hat. Sold for nine dollars. Headed to Salt Lake City, Utah. Sold another one of my Weight Watchers Be Good hats, seven fifty, and um, my. It's going up to Canada, but my stamps is acting up. All right, we've got 30 PC games. Headed to Baltimore, Maryland. Sold for $21. <laughs> he heard the printer. He heard it. He heard it. All right, now I'm going to wait for it to finish printing. It kind of stops in the middle of it like it's warming up or something. What's up, mister? The kid's ready. I'm ready, she says. <laughs> oh, my kitties. Yeah, kind of a lame uh, morning shift. But it is Friday. So you'll probably be seeing this video on Sunday. So, my kiddos. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you in the next video.